right, hello everyone. Welcome to this reading vlog. I forgot to make an intro and an outro <laughs> for this reading vlog, but I hope you all are excited about it. I am, or I was in a bit of a reading slump, but I found a book that got me out of it. I am reading classic meditations. Um, I go and visit my mom and my sister in DC. So yeah, and there's lots of unboxing, so I hope you all are excited about it. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. All right, hello. It is now Tuesday. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna put this clip in this vlog because sometimes I just like intersperse the unboxings um, to kind of mix things up a little bit. <laughs> but I just got a package in the mail from Pingo Books, which I'm very excited about. And then I also bought some new sticky tabs that I wanted to share with you. I needed some new ones because I just have like blue, like just one color tones left and I wanted some new ones and I thought I would share because I love them. So I got some with like fall colors. See this is the one that I have like left and I usually like to mix up the colors. I really wanted this fall palette and then I got a couple other ones. Like this is a really pretty one. I really like this one and of course this is from Amazon. <laughs> I like that one too but yeah i will link this down below i think it's still i don't think this is the exact one i got last time because i didn't have the fall color palette but i've already like gone through so many tabs i think they're all in anna Karenina. <laughs> but yeah all oh, these are really pretty so i'm very excited about this i will leave a link down below to like my amazon shop where i put all these in now let's open up my pingo books order this is really cute they put a little sticker that says i hope this makes you smile which is so sweet Oh, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, I think they win the best packaging ever. How cute is this sticker? Happy reading, and there's a little cat in a little teacup, come on. And then it says, thank you. I think this has to be the cutest packaging ever. That is so cute. And they wrapped it even nicely in this. Can you tell what it is? <laughs> Here we go. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And of course, the Penguin Black Spine Edition. So this was the one that was voted by you all. This is some of your favorite, um, this is some of your favorite classics. I asked in, on my Instagram, like what are your favorite classics? And then this is the one that had a lot of votes and I thought I would try it. I'm getting more and more excited for it. I have to say, I honestly, I have no idea what this book is about. I think I'm going to be reading this either, I think next quarter. I can't remember when I scheduled it because I know it's like a thicker book. I think I said like next quarter. Let's see how long it is, 500 pages. Um, so we will see, no idea what it's about. I, of course I've read Emily Bronte's Weathering Heights. I am telling you like my classics have been going so well rereading my classics and I just love the Penguin Black Spine edition. So this is what I picked up and it has the really nice silky paper because like for example, this one, which passing I just read, I'll leave the video down below where I read this. It has that like scratchy paper so it wasn't that fun to write on. <laughs> But this is that like really nice silky paper. So this is gonna be good to annotate. But yeah, I'm excited to check this out. So I have been in kind of a reading slump. Uh, I don't know if I talk about it in this vlog or not. Today I've tried to read Meditations, which is the other classic that I have this month, which I was liking. So I'm still gonna read that, but it's just not for right now. I tried to read At Night All Blood Is Black, which I was really enjoying, but not for right now. So do you know what book I'm gonna try? I had this on my spring TBR. I think I'm gonna try A Curious Beginning. I had this on my list for maybe being in a reading slump. This is a little bit bigger than I remember. So it's like it's a little over 300 pages, maybe. Um, oh, the font's pretty big though, so yeah. I'm just gonna sit and try to read this. A little cozy mystery, cozy fantasy. I always mix those two up. Like I know the difference, but when I speak the words, they get mixed up. <laughs> So let's try this. Hopefully this will catch my attention because I do want to read, but it's just, I'm just in that mood where nothing's catching my attention. So let's try. Hello everyone. It is now Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday and I do have work today, but I'm still working in the ER. So it's not until uh, 5 p.m. tonight. I'll put you there. 
um, and it's only like 11 o'clock now. The sun is finally shining. It has been gloomy like for so many days. So I'm going to go sit uh, down by my little pool area and read a little bit and just relax. I have my little tote bag. Um, so I did start reading A Curious Beginning last night and I am liking it. It is just like a quick fun read. Um, and I do really like the main character, Veronica Speedwell. She's really funny. I think I'm like, how far? I'm in chapter six, so like 47 pages in. So I'm gonna read some of this while I'm down there. And then I also am going to try to actually like read, read my classic, which is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Um, it's really easy. It's just like his quick little thoughts and lines. It's kind of written in like little vignettes almost. So I'm gonna try to read a couple pages of this too while I'm down there. This is gonna be one that I think I kind of read throughout the whole month. I mean, I hope it won't take me a whole month, but I'm not gonna try to, I don't think you can really just sit and read this in like one sitting, cause it's really not that long. This is also by a Greek emperor. This is like basically his journals <laughs> where he was just writing things down and then they decided to translate it and publish it. Um, it's like his philosophical thoughts and what it's like to be an emperor and all that stuff. This is one that my friend gave me and he really wants me to read it. It's been a long time since he, he bought it for me so I need to read it so that we can talk about it. So I'm gonna go downstairs read a little bit of both of these for a little bit just relax but on um last saturday on independent bookshop day i went to a different independent bookstore and they didn't have the book our share of night um which i really wanted to buy that book and so they basically ordered it for me and i just got the text that it's in so i'm going to stop by that bookstore later to go ahead and pick it up because it's really close to me i'm um, go ahead and pick it up that will be fun. I'm excited to read that book. I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but I did want to buy that book from them um, or from an independent bookstore on that day, but they didn't have it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm excited for that too. technically Saturday because um, it's like two in the morning <laughs> I didn't just get off work I got off work around one um, it's like my bags are so bad I'm still on ER rotation um, I'm almost done I, I I'm actually liking this rotation I'm not meant to be an ER doctor like definitely not but I'm liking I'm liking the rotation um, but I thought I would come update you all because I have all this energy because I'm like my schedule is basically flipped <laughs> um, but I have been reading a bit and I feel like I have not updated the vlog in a while so let me come and chat with you first let's talk about a curious beginning by uh, Deanna Rayborn. I am like halfway through this book and this book is just so much fun. This was exactly what I needed. There's just like whole like murder mystery thing that kind of happens. She gets involved with this. She doesn't get involved but she meets this man named Stoker and they're kind of like on this adventure together and Stoker is like so funny. He's so like grumpy but Veronica Speedwell, I really like her. She's like She's just so independent and witty and smart and she reminds me a lot of Sherlock Holmes actually where she just like is super blunt and uh, doesn't really care what she's saying. She just says it like it is and it can be really funny and she just kind of like um, like annoys uh, Stoker just because it's funny and I don't know I just really like their banter so I'm loving this so much it's just a good time and then for the classic I'm reading Meditations by Marcus Aurelius and I am liking this I'm not loving it there are like a couple things like here you can see that like really speak to me but then some of the stuff I'm just like I don't know what you're trying to say dude <laughs> Um, but let me read one of them to you because some of it I am really enjoying. In man's life, his time is a mere instant, his existence a flux, his perception fogged, his whole bodily composition rotting, his mind a whirligig, his fortune unpredictable, his fame unclear. To put it shortly, all things of the body stream away like a river. All things of the mind are dreams and delusion. Life is warfare and a visit in a strange land. The only lasting fame is oblivion. I don't know, I just really like that one. But 
this was definitely this was written when he was like in his like 50s that's what it says in the back in the notes where he's like dying um so there's a lot of talk about death and you can just tell that's like very much on his mind um and then some of his like beliefs and like philosophies i'm kind of like oh, i don't know if i agree with you but it's still interesting to read it and then uh, lastly i have a package to unbox with you all i'm super excited about this it is another classic that i want to read this year this book was like, pretty expensive i don't know like 16 dollars. i feel it's kind of expensive for like <laughs> a paperback but i saw it was on sale for only like eight bucks so i snagged it up because it said there's only one left so i went ahead and got it yay this is so much prettier in person and it's still another little thin one. Oh wow i don't know if you guys can see how amazing this cover is look at that this is black no more by george s schuler this is one of the one of my classics that i want to read this year and i never heard anyone talk about this i've never heard of this ever in my life but i was on amazon just like searching for no i think i was just looking up classics by black authors and then this cover caught my attention and then it turns out it's been turned into like a broadway musical which is wild to me it's new year's day 1933 in new york city and max disher a young black man has just found out that a certain dr junis crookman has discovered a mysterious process that allows people to bleach their skin white a new way to solve the american race problem Max leaps at the opportunity and after a brief stay at the Crookman Sanitarium, he becomes Matthew Fisher, a white man who is able to attain anything he has ever wanted. Money, power, good liquor, and the white woman who rejected him when he was black. The landmark comic satire that asks what would happen if all black people in America turned white. So I am so interested in this. That is my little reading update. Tomorrow, or I guess later today, Saturday, I am going with a friend to brunch, which I'm very excited about because the weather is so nice finally. I think it's going to stay warm in Chicago. So we're gonna go get brunch at like a little rooftop area and I'm so excited. I think I can even wear like a dress tomorrow. It's gonna be wild, wild things are happening. <laughs> But yes, I thought I would just come update you. So I will let you know tomorrow. I don't have to work tomorrow, which is nice too. Um, and I keep reading these two books. I had my last shift of ER last night. I guess I got off at one this morning. Um, of course, slept in, and then I was just cleaning up my apartment because it was a hot mess. <laughs> um, oh my God, I don't think I've updated you for a while. So actually, on Saturday, I had Saturday off, and I got brunch with a friend, which I think I'll show some clips, and then we went to this drag show that was at a book, like a local bookstore. It was kind of like booked to the, it was really weird and very like local and like amateur, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and then I went out with some friends after that on Saturday and then I had to work Sunday night and Monday night. And so today's Tuesday, I had the day off, so it was so nice. I went by the river, I had a, um, like a cider and read by the river, I went shopping a little bit, just a good, nice, relaxing day. But I thought I would show you some of the things I picked up because they're kind of cool. Uh, well, one boring thing is that I got like a food container for Toby's food because the one I got off Amazon, it does not keep it airtight. So yeah, I got that random. <laughs> and then they had these like t-shirts. Oh, that's why I went. I went to Marshall's to look specifically for t-shirts because I'm in this like Halloween group on Facebook and um, they posted that in the men's section, there were so many like goosebumps and ghost face just like so many like kind of horror creepy t-shirts but like fandom shirts and so i went to look and they had a couple but nothing that like i absolutely needed so i think i'll go to another marshall's um but anyways i saw that they had this shirt so i got this shirt for my dad <laughs> 
purchase a Volkswagen GTI. My dad like loves Volkswagens. Like these are like the only cars we had growing up. My dad loves Volkswagens. Cause if you don't know, he's Polish. I'm half Polish. I don't know if that's like no. But anyways, I asked him and he wanted this one. They had a bunch of different ones. So I got my dad that shirt. And then I also wanted to pick up a candle. And I saw this and I had to get it and it actually smells good. It's called Vintage Books. Right? I had to get it and it actually smells pretty good. I don't like, ooh, I don't like this little like flowery print. I don't know. I just don't really like it that much. Um, and I was gonna like change it out, but there weren't really any other ones to change it out with. It was only six dollars. And I actually like the way it smells. It doesn't smell like vintage books, but I also have a really bad sense of smell. I don't, see, I don't even know how to explain it to you. Last night, or yesterday, I watched Requiem, Requiem? Why can't I say Requiem? Requi Requiem? Requiem. Why can't I say the word? Requiem for a dream. That sounds weird. Anyways, it's because I saw this post on this one Instagram account that I follow. I posted this one that were like the best endings of films of all time. And one of them was Call Me By Your Name, which I think is the best ending. It's my favorite ending ever. Um, and they had that one on there. And then they also had Requiem for a Dream, which I have seen. I watched it a long time ago. And the shot that they shot they showed with like Jennifer Connelly, is that her name? On like the couch and she's like smiling and then yeah, it's pretty intense scene, but like all the whole last scenes of that movie. So I rewatched and it was so good. Um, it's a really great movie. But it's very intense. I did cry at the end. Um, I got little tears in my eyes. <laughs> it was a very intense movie. Okay, that's the updates about my films. No big updates on my reading, but I have a package here from Zara. I'm so excited about this. So I, this is another TikTok thing. <laughs> so on TikTok, this girl pointed out about this like perfect bomber jacket that you could get on Zara. So I went and looked because I love a good like leather jacket, bomber jacket. I actually wore my leather jacket out today. Um, but I saw this and I was like, this is so cute and it wasn't too expensive. And you're probably thinking it's like about to turn summer. Why do you need a jacket? Chicago, you always need a jacket. It literally doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's June, July, August, you will need a jacket. <laughs> See, it's just like a typical, like really nice bomber jacket, right? I got it in a medium just because like I have really long arms. I think I said this is where I have really long arms and sometimes small like don't fit. And if I wanna wear like a thick sweater underneath, I may need it, okay. Oh yeah, you can see, look, medium is already like perfect arm length. Okay, what do you guys think? Let me stand up. Wait, can you tell? Oh, from what I see, this is so cute. Are you kidding me? This looks better with my outfit than the other, oh my gosh. I love it, this is so comfy. Are you serious? Okay, yeah, I love it. I'm gonna go look at my other mirror, but that's my big update. I love this. What? So cute. I will definitely link this down below. All right, I'm gonna charge my camera, and then I will come back and um, do some reading updates. I'm definitely gonna read a little bit more today. It is now Monday and I have not updated the vlog in a while. I'm filming on my phone, but this weekend is Mother's Day weekend. Yesterday was Mother's Day. So I came to DC to visit my sister and my mom and we went to the beach. We had a nice time. I'm sure I put in some clips to show you all. I also ended up finishing A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayborn, finally. <laughs> Um, this book was so good. I think I'm gonna end up giving it a four out of five stars. I really really enjoyed it. It was just like so much fun. I love Veronica. She's such a good female character to follow. This book was like funny. Uh, I was like laughing out loud. It was just 
like charming is like the word I would use for it. And of course I love Stoker. I love their banter. I love their interaction, Stoker and Veronica. Um, oh my gosh, I just loved it so much. <laughs> so I can't wait for the next book. I definitely want to read the series. This is definitely why I'm going to like keep up with all the books. Just because like it's truly like the characters are just so much fun like the ending of the little mystery that you're trying to solve i was getting like a little bit annoyed with the mystery because they were just sitting there like coming up with um different theories instead of like try really solving anything hey samson my sister's dog is here do you want to meet samson come here samson this is samson with my sister's dog he's so cute he's a good boy right yeah he's like what are you doing all right i'll put you down <laughs> Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I didn't like how they were just sitting there like discussing different theories even though we didn't really know what was happening. I didn't like that but I, st I like love Stoker and Veronica and them <laughs> them going on their adventures is a lot of fun so I can't wait to see the rest of the series and like I don't know I just think this is so, it's so nice when you just love the characters and you just want to follow them around like you don't really care what's happening. You'll just follow them around and see what's up. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. Four out of five stars. Exactly what I needed to get me out of a reading slump. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, everyone. It is time to end the vlog. I completely forgot to make an outro as I said earlier but I hope you all enjoyed the vlog. Um, I really loved A Curious Beginning. Such a great book. I actually have an update about meditations. I think I'm going to end up doing like a soft DNF for this book. Um, I got like 38 pages in and I don't know it's just not really doing it for me. A couple of like the quotes will like speak to me and I really enjoy it but there aren't they aren't so good where like I want to keep reading and this is kind of making me feel slumpy so I think I'm gonna just put it down for now you know what's the point of reading it I think it's also because it's not like it's like non-fiction it's just this man's thoughts so I don't know I think I'm just gonna put it down and also I'm really excited to start my next classic so that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna set that aside. I'm currently in the middle of reading my book for the Dark Academia vlog, which will be coming out. That'll be the next vlog that you all see. It's going really well, so I hope you all are excited for that. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.